Yo, what's good everybody, man? We are back with another day of doula, another day of being charged up, and today we are giving Josh Giddy Hall of Fame potential in NBA 2K24. So we're here in 2K24 on the OKC Thunder, and we have a 21-year-old Josh Giddy, same age as me. We're like twins out here. 82 overall, and he's gonna be a Hall of Fame potential player. So uh, if you guys missed the previous videos, we've done this with a lot of players. There's like a whole playlist. Go check it out if you haven't already. We have a wheel right here, which every season we're gonna spin, and whatever it lands on, we're gonna upgrade for Josh Giddy. And we have some challenges along the way. So before we get into it, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. We're posting every single day, and then later this week on Friday. I'm having my first stream on Twitch. So uh, Friday, whenever you're watching this, I think my schedule is on Thanksgiving. Friday, Twitch stream, I'm Doula, is gonna be a movie. Go make sure to link in the description. Go follow with me over there. But let's, let's get into it. Let's waste no time, man. Let's shuffle this wheel right here. And the first thing we'll upgrade for Josh Giddy. I'm not too familiar with this game. I haven't really watched the OKC Thunder. But the first thing we're gonna improve for him it's his Hall of Fame outside scoring badges. So looking at Giddy right now, he's an 82 overall with only a C plus three point shot. So that actually is a, a weak spot for him. But after upgrading his badges, he's now an 86 overall. So now he's the second best player on the team. So the challenges for this video, uh, we have a few. One is gonna be to win at least two MVPs and then win five rings. So five rings and two MVPs is what I decided. I think it's very possible. The Thunder, they're gonna be the future of the NBA. They have Shea Gilgius, Giddy, Chet, who's a beast, and they have some good uh, players, Jalen Williams, and I think they have Jalen Williams again. So that's kind of crazy, you know, two people with the same name. Kaysen Wallace, bro, these cars, I swear to God, every day I'm recording, this is like a meme now. They're just having car meets outside of the building every day. It's insane. Um, maybe I should go vlog it one day. But yeah, in 2K simulations, bro, we always start off with the Thunder making the playoffs and end up like taking over the league like within a year. So I think five rings is definitely possible. Like I said, Josh Giddy, I'm not too sure of his game. I just seen some highlights. He plays very slow. He moves at like two miles per hour. It's kind of, he plays at his own pace, I would say. But I mean, he has a good future ahead of him for sure. If I look like I'm going through it right now, it's cause I low key am, I'm kind of sick. I've had a sore throat the past couple days. I don't know if I have COVID or what. Is COVID even a thing anymore? I don't know, but it's been killing me. Uh, but I've been wanting to, I had like some more fire video ideas, bro. You guys like the reversing NBA history video? Like it was a couple hours long. I want to make more videos like that, like long videos, because you guys like them. So we'll try to think of some more stuff. So we got Luka winning MVP as always. Victor Minyama. Okay, Cam Thomas as sixth man. That's a new one. Usually it's been Chris Paul, but you get, we got, we got, damn, the heck? <laughs> we got Camp Thomas now, 21 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. Should I give him Hall of Fame potential next? Let me know in the comments below. We got Giannis, defensive player. Okay, okay. And then Curry, clutch player of the year. So, all NBA first team, no Josh Giddy. We got Shea, all NBA second team, and then no Josh Giddy third team. That's totally fine. Thunder finish off as the fourth seed. The question is, though, how did Giddy do? He put up 18 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists on much better three-point shooting percentage, 44% from three. So yeah, that definitely made an impact for him. And uh, Chet, he averaged 15 and nine. We got Shea averaging 30, which is nuts. I didn't realize he averaged 31 last season. Shea might be him, he might be him. And then Jalen Williams, he averaged 13. Okay, so I feel like this year we should aim for a chip. Why not? We're up against the Clippers. We end up beating them 4-1. Lakers finished as the first seed, which is crazy. And we swept them. Okay, John the Grizzlies swept us. Wow, we couldn't win a single game. Wait a minute. Yo, we got blown out each game as well. Yo, we got blown out, what the heck? I didn't think we'd get swept, but that's very humbling. So uh, it's the Heat and Grizzlies, which is the first time I've seen this matchup in 2024. Very interesting. And Grizzlies win a chip according to 2K. I don't think it's gonna happen, not even close, but uh, that's very interesting by 2K. So LeBron ends up retiring off rip. He's not gonna run it back, which makes it easier for us to get our first seed in the West. What's next for my guy? We're gonna spin this wheel. And obviously, you know, shooting is the most important thing, I think. Rebounding would be the next best thing for us, but we're gonna upgrade our post scoring. I mean, he is like 6'8", I think. Let's see, Josh Giddy, he improves to a 91 overall, but I haven't even touched his post scoring. So attributes, yeah, his post stats suck. Uh, I want to see his height, though, after. I, I think he's like 6'8 or 6'9. He's from Australia, I believe, right? He's from Australia or Austria? Let me see, let me see. He's from Australia, yeah. Hey, my Aust Australian viewers, comment down below if anyone is from Australia, bro. I know we have a very ethnic and diverse uh, audience, so, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the best thing. But he's 6'8. He's 6'8. 
He's a six foot eight shooting guard is insane, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, this team is very tall. Probably the tallest team in the league, all things considered. A six six point guard, six eight shooting guard. Uh, Lou's the shortest player on the team, and he's a small forward. So we should be looking good here. I'm expecting like 70 wins. Luca wins his second MVP, averaging a triple double. We gotta find out how many MVPs average triple doubles, if any. I don't think anyone has. Uh, no, oh no. <laughs> Besides Russell, Westbrook is the only person, bro. I'm bugging. Yeah, Westbrook or maybe even Oscar Robertson. But yeah, Luca and Westbrook, and that's impressive because Westbrook was like six four, you know, and Luca is six seven. So uh, we got who's most improved player? Bones Highland. All right, that's fine by me. Is Giddy All NBA this time? Yes, sir. All NBA second team, and then Shea Gilgis is not in here, but it's fine. So we finished off as the first seed in the West, and Josh Giddy this season averaged 22, 9, and 7. I like that. I don't think there'll be a season where he averages 30. I think Shea's going to take control and average the most uh, each season. He put up 25, 5, and 7 this year. And then Chet, he's improving pretty fast in his what, second season. He's putting up 18 and 11. It's pretty fast progression. You know, if you look at Victor Minyama, what's his overall at? He's at a 90. So him and Chet, very similar, but our team's a lot better. The Lakers surprisingly still finished as a second seed, which is surprising because LeBron retired. Oh, Paul George came into the team. All right. They got Paul George and, and Nurkic. So that could happen in real life, by the way. Paul George could end up as a Laker. But uh, I'm expecting an easy, easy uh, finals run right here. All right, up against Portland. Dog, how are we down 3-1? Bro, no way should Deion Sharp and DeAndre Ayton are doing this to us. 3-1. 3-2, okay, going to a game seven, and the Nets are in the finals. What is going on? Let's focus on our game first, and then we'll see what's going on in uh, Brooklyn, because this has been an odd playoff run. The fact that Portland has taken us to a game seven, not expected. Five-point game, let me hop in. I'm going to see what my guy uh, Josh Giddy could do, man, if he could drop. I mean, I'm going to see what his career high is after this game. All right, but he's going to pass it to Shea. Shea is going to do a... Hook shot, are you stupid? We got Chet guarding up. Oh my God, Anthony Simon just pulled up. Good read by Chet. All right, five point game, two minutes left. We gotta feed Giddy or Shea. Shea's got the rock, he's attacking. Is he gonna force it again? No, kick out to Lou Dort. He can't really do anything besides play defense. Shea, come on man, give it to Giddy. Oh, we got Jalen Williams for three, yes sir. Now we got Giddy guarding up on Simons. Yup, good defense on him. Malcolm Brogdon to bucket. Look at Giddy though. Denying an open bu bucket. Brogdon, he's going to dish it out, right? Nah, we're playing clamps. We're playing lockdown defense. It doesn't get better than this. Good rebound, Giddy flying in. We could take the lead right here. Lou Dort. All right, just give it back to Giddy. Shea is tired. He's attacking, though. Left hand lay to tie it up. All right, now we got a game. Oh, nah, nah. Malcolm Brogdon, wide open three. He drains it, nothing but net. Ah, it's tough, but we can't lose. And also, I want to see Giddy do something, bro. <laughs> he's been passive. He's been... We're calling timeouts. What are we doing? Let him cook. Let him cook. He just passes the ball. Back to Chet. Nice. No. We sold. All right. We need to stop on defense right here. We don't have to foul. Is that Justice Winslow? Is Justice Winslow still in the league, bro? I thought he fell off and went to China. They got Scoot Henderson, who's actually somewhat decent this year. He's pulling up for three. We got blessed. Good read by Chet. We're still in it. A catch and shoot three by Giddy would be the best way to tie it up, but instead, Shea's gonna draw a foul. And with that now, we gotta play the foul game. We can't, uh, yeah, we can't. We just gotta hope we get, you know, get a steal maybe, or just hit a three once they make the free throws. Three point game, 19 seconds left. What's the move? I say we go for three. I don't think we should, oh, okay, you know what? That's wide open. We should take that, that's smart. And Josh Giddy fouled out with that uh, forced foul, so we had to sacrifice him. He only had 11 points, so a pretty weak game for him. And we got no timeouts left. So it's up to one of our guys to tie it up with a three. Shea or Jalen Williams or Chet even. Chet pulling up from the four-point line. He drains it. Oh, my God. What a shot by Chet Holmgren. Can the Blazers get a game winner? Scoot Henderson. He's going to pass it to Shadion Sharp. Loses it. And he goes up. No. Damn. <laughs> That's tough. That's so tough. And, man, man, we lost. Off some BS, he fumbled the ball, got it back, and scored for the game. That's tough. That's tough. The most unrealistic finals ever, six seed Blazers and seven seed Nets. Bro, who do the Nets even have to be, you know, playing like this? Mikhail Bridges, Nick Claxton, and Cam Thomas. Like, legit, legit, they're having a mid-off in the finals. It's crazy. And the Blazers win 4-1. So DeAndre Ayton wins finals MVP. This is not what I expected at all, but hey, hey, man, 
Game's game. All right, year number three for Giddy. What are we gonna improve next? And it's going to be 99 physicals, which is not so bad. He's kind of slow, so giving him some more speed, it's not gonna hurt him. That actually boosted him to a 95 overall because he had like, what, 70 something speed before. So this will change his game for sure. Shay's a 94, he surpasses him. Chet's still an 89. He didn't really uh, improve this off season. But we got Matt Buzilis, who's actually, uh, yeah, he's actually uh, class 2024, I think, yeah. So he's an interesting prospect to look out for. But this team for sure is a championship team. Like, there's no way at this point. I mean, I need Giddy to be more aggressive, but we should be straight. Okay, well, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty surprised. That was that was quicker than I thought. Year three win MVP with Giddy, bro. That, that could be his future. He could win MVP in 2026. I can see it happening for sure. 24, 10, and eight. That's pretty good. But his free throw percentage sucks. I don't know how it's that bad. Uh, but yeah, we got Trey Young as sixth man. <laughs> What happened to his career, bro? <laughs> the heck? Yo, what's he doing in Sacramento? Get him out of here. And then Victor, defensive player. Okay, bet. So, uh, I'm not gonna lie. If Shea's not all NBA, we're in trouble. Yeah, I need more than one. Oh, we got Chet. All NBA third team. But where is Shea at? What happened to Shea? Hey, it don't matter, bro. It don't matter. Jalen Williams, he's out for 46 weeks. Pulled right calf muscle. That's the worst, man. A lot of times I went through that, it's tough, bro. Because I go to the gym and stuff, and I do calf raises, and I, and I pulled it before. But, uh... Yeah, Shea this year averaged 21. He's declining while Josh Kitty is, is, is inclining, um, like a treadmill. And then Chet averaged 19 and 11. There's no way we don't win a ring. Like, there's no way. Third year's a charm, right? We end up winning round one. Round two, we win that one. Rockets, we win that one. Giddy's cooking up. And we're in the finals against the Cavs. D. Mitch, Mobley, Garland, Jared Allen, and they added Miles Turner to their team. So they got a huge roster. Pause. And then Clay Thompson. So uh, I think we still have enough. Do we? Actually? I mean, it's a five point L right here. But I feel like Giddy should be able to guard up on Mitchell. Like the height difference is insane. Mitchell's like 6'1. Yeah, Mitchell's 6'. They say he's 6'3. I think he's like 6'1 in real life. Um, what do I know, right? You know, I'm 5'4. Giddy, though, he's 6'8. Shea's 6'6. There's no way we don't, we don't win this series, right? Game two, they win it again by four. Okay. Game three, we take that one by 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we need more of. 20, 12, and 9 out of Giddy. And 2-2. Two, two. Okay, Giddy with 19 points. And we're down 3-2. Let's see if in game six we can send it to seven and try to win it at home. Back and forth so far. I'm trying to have a perfect season though with Giddy, you know? Oh, I think we should be straight. We should be straight. No, I got to hop in with a minute left. Let's see if we can hit a big shot to take the lead with Giddy right here. Good screen by Jalen Williams. He's going to attack. Floater. Nice. No, 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 no. Block that. Block that. Bro, we can't let a midget be scoring on us like that. Back to Giddy. Uh, Giddy. Giddy. Back to Giddy. He's going to. Yo, you're bugging. What are you doing? Horrible decision making by Giddy, bro. Why is he taking that shot? How many times have you taken that shot before? That's a horrible shot. We gotta get a stop here. They might go for the last uh, play of the game, unfortunately. So we better clamp up and send it to OT. They're gonna set a screen. Stay, stay. Yes. Close out, Giddy. No. Damn it. He didn't close out. Oh my God, man. There's no way. Why isn't Chet in the game either? Come on. In the corner. Gil Shoot it. Jay. Gil this. Yo. Come on. In and out. Oh my God. In and out. That's so heartbreaking. That's so, and we lost the chip just like that in year three. We are struggling, bro. We had our rookie drop 32 in game six. Why didn't Giddy step up? Only 19 points. Chet wasn't playing because he fouled out. Man, bro, that's tough. Who wins finals MVP? Darius Garland, he cooked up. All right, well, next season, let's spin this wheel again. What could we possibly uh, make us better? I feel like everything is good. Oh, okay, perfect. Max out three categories of my choice, but say no more. I mean, Giddy's already in 95 overall. So uh, if we max out three categories, I would max out shooting. So let's max out his shooting. That's going to be the biggest impact for him. And uh, free throw is a part of that. Then I'll max out rebounding. So I'll max out rebounding and defense. So... Those are the three categories, and that basically maxes him out at that point. Yeah, he's a 99 overall. So he's maxed out at age 24. He's got like 15 years to be uh, perfect in terms of like no mistakes, just win a ring every year. Uh, Shea's a 94 overall, Chet's 92, 
we have a good you know depth bench we can make it work now there's no excuse back to back mvps for the boy so we got our two mvps i expect actually five i mean there's no reason you should slow down anytime soon so you know it'd be nice to win defensive player of the year i mean how many steals he get one steal and one block he shot much better from the free throw line 98 percent. so that's good he's in a 50 40 almost 100 club which is great to see he led to see it all defensive first team he's there as well so he's clamping up and uh we're the first seed again how many wins did we get we still have not won a ring guys you got 70 wins we have not won a ring rockets won 64 by the way so jalen green jabari smith sun gun and then uh amen thompson and dylan brooks all panning out pretty well but this has to be the year we win a ring like there's no way we lose again all right round two sweet round three all right we're in the finals up against the knicks i don't i don't think julius randall and jalen brunson is gonna stop us i and, and, and honestly Jalen's not even on the team. It's Dyson Daniels and RJ Barrett and Mitchell Robinson. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Should be an easy sweep. Yes, sir. And Giddy's finals MVP, averaging 35, 14, and 8. Good numbers right there for him. And uh, he shot really good, you know, efficiently. We got our first ring. Game one, he had 24, 9, and 7. Then he had 41 and 18 reads. Like I said, once you get the rebounds, you become goaded. Like, once you improve that stat. Then he had 46, you know, 16. Um, then he had another triple double. He cooked up. He deserved it. Ring number one out the way. I'm trying to get to GOAT status, you know. We'd be in, like, in GOAT tier five right now if this was uh, my career. And at this point, there's no reason for me to spin the wheel anymore. We maxed him out completely. So at this point, it's just about winning. All right. Well, the year is now 2039. So Josh Giddy is 36 years old. He's played 18 seasons and we just finished off winning a ring. He won finals MVP, 17 rebounds, 13 points. So, hey. Let's recap his career. Let's see what he won. He did a lot. I just simulated he did a lot. He won 10 rings and 12 MVPs. Probably the best Hall of Fame potential video ever on this channel. He had the best career. And I'm telling you, this will happen in real life for sure. He's on this, on this track, on this pace. So I'm excited to see it. In terms of most points in a career, he finished his top seven, which is fine. Because if you look at assists, I'm pretty sure. We get, well, he's third on three-pointers made. And then uh, rebounds... He's 15th, and then assist, he is, where's he at? Josh? Joshua? Giddy? He's 18th. And then in terms of blocks, no, he's not going to be here. Steals, probably not. But all around, great career for Josh Giddy. He had the most successful career. Hope you all enjoyed the video, man. Hey, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.